Hello and welcome to Let's Play Portal. Um, so Portal is a puzzle platform yet again. Uh, this is the third puzzle platform I'll be doing, I guess. Uh, it came out in 2007 in October uh, for the PC and then later on the year um, for PlayStation 3 and it was also available for Xbox. I think it came on Xbox the same time as it came for the PC. Um, most of you that are viewing this probably already um, know what this game is about or um, if you haven't you're maybe too young for for this or uh, not too young for this but you were pretty young at the time like most of the people uh, have um, have seen this game right and know what it is um, so you can pick up things uh, here you see some uh, sequences like there's uh, top right you have the cube uh, we're just waiting for the clock to count down, Hello, and, and I'll Welcome to be quiet for now. Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. So this is the concept behind the game. Basically you have an uh, orange portal and a blue portal. You can move through one of these and come out in the other. Um, as you can see right there. The voicing the, that you just heard is done by Ellen McLean. Um, I don't know if she got a reward for, for it. Um, and here we learn about the companion cube and buttons. Uh, the very first levels, like the very first nine or something, um, are just tutorial wise and after each level you... I'm gonna lower the sound here a bit. Uh, from the game volume, just so I don't have it blasting my ear. So, um, this game is known for a uh, bunch of its dark humor. Um, oh, yeah, I have to get no, god damn it, I shouldn't have gone through yet. Um, so it's known for its dark humor, it's known for um, having great puzzles, like I think the game design is, is done pretty good. Um, it's been made pretty nicely to be honest. Um, I think most people would agree if they uh, would, s if someone would say that this game can easily be considered to be okay. one of the best games uh, that came out that year. Uh, and it was a unique concept as well, which basically made this game uh, enjoyable to play. Um, and even after you finish the game, like um, from chamber 13 to 18, you basically had a lot of challenges. Like um, there were three different kind of challenges for each level, which is uh, least steps taken. So um, a step you can hear your footsteps, uh, like you can hear their. Uh, each step is basically a footstep and cos could be considered a step. Uh, then you have one where it says uh, least, where it says least um, portals used. Um, so eventually, like you see there, we get a gun that can shoot a portal. Uh, eventually, we'll eventually we'll um, thank you. You are now in possession of the aperture. So we can shoot a single portal now. Uh, we don't have the or control over the orange yet. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, the portals. Uh, so basically, least step taken, least portals used, and least time. Um, and you had um, two different settings like bronze, silver, and gold for each. Uh, like portals were mostly three to four or four. Sometimes you had one, uh, which made it pretty difficult um, so let's just get through these uh, these are just standard tutorial ones but I remember sitting there and thinking about a lot of those puzzles with a friend of mine uh, Wesley van der Heuvel uh, to just complete them 
uh, or try to complete them. Um, it was really difficult, um, and that actually made made the game really fun, of course. Uh, so we can shoot a portal here. I have no clue where the orange one is though, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we take the companion cube, get through here. Oh, there it is apparently. And just keep going. Um, oh, what? I can't shoot everyone? Okay. I could try to take a shortcut, but I couldn't. Um, like, I'm sorry if you want to hear GLaDOS. Uh, so the name of the, the voice you hear is apparently GLaDOS. You'll find that out later in the game. Um, she does say a lot. And um, I try not to talk over it, but obviously I do want to keep talking and just playing the game and not having any commentaries isn't that amusing for most people. So, um, as you can see, we there had the orange portal, so we go up, take this. Um, then we do this. I guess we... Is there another one here? Probably. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> So we can just take it now um, and jump down. Like there, there are probably a lot of people who can speed to run this way faster protocol, than me. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. I think you could even uh, at one point in the game bunny hop. Uh, bunny hop was uh, something that could be done in the earlier version of CS. I think up until CS Counter Strike 1.3, uh, you basically don't press forward, but you use uh, left and right button together with jump at the right time and do that basically, and then get somewhere pretty fast. Um, so this is pretty easy. It shows you how energy balls work. Uh, it goes through the portal here. It goes through there and then that activates um, the key in the. Hmm. So, yeah, it, it, it basically shows you there that you're probably not the only subject here, that probably a lot of other people have died and stuff like that. Uh, and that something is wrong with GLaDOS, right? Um, that she's. Uh, she's acting really weird, uh, stuff like that, but. So these are still One just um, However, standard training ones. I think we have to shoot one here. No, nope, apparently it's there. The um, so again, it's just standard stuff here. Um, we use a portal there and then have to wait until it comes back now, I guess. To jump on that. I think we die if we jump in the, in the beam. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but this this is just standard puzzling. It it gets really complicated later on, or it should be should be getting really complicated, especially in your very first play to play through later on. Uh, you see there that some people are should be monitoring you or uh, used to be monitoring you, but at this point no one actually is, or you can at least see him. Uh, so that's a bit odd as well, right? Uh, so you saw number seven there. So we're going up to chamber number eight. I think there's 18 or 19 in total, and then there's of course that's not the end of course. Uh, that's like the very first section of the game where you get taught most of the things. Uh, up until chamber 13, it's all pretty basic. Uh, sometimes you have these loading screens. Please know that we have added um, consequence for failure. Any contact so that floor is pretty, pretty deadly. Uh, we also have to be careful about that. Um, why does it make me crouch? Uh, I guess I'll then shoot this here because... Oh yeah, okay, I get it now. That's why I have to crouch, else it would kill me. Uh, then we do this and quickly get on it. And that's the end of this one. Like, uh, yeah, if I didn't crouch there, I would have died. Um, just because it said it on the screen, I actually did, but that would have been my very first death on, on screen. That any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Like that's an obvious lie. Uh, you can easily die in this game. It doesn't matter. You just start at the start of that um, level or at the last save. Um, and yeah, sometimes like uh, the elevator is basically the loading zone. 
Um, but sometimes it's, uh, it still has to load or has to wait for the load. Um, at the start of each chamber you also see these and uh, it shows what you have to do like um, here it says like yeah there's a companion cube watch out for falling it on your head there's no energy balls here you don't have to do it there's no poison water there's no cake um, there's no drinking fountain there are no turrets and there's no jumping down and having the speed one uh, those are for later um, so we take the cube here I guess the apologizes for and the then why do I have to do this here oh I see so uh, we get up there to shoot the portal through it. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere. Uh, wow, that, that was slow for the pessimism. elevator to be there. Like I expected it to already be there. I never knew uh, you could saw it coming down. But the very first playthrough of Portal, and if you if you really want to play this game yourself, uh, stop watching these videos and go play it yourself. It's way funner if you actually play it yourselves. Uh, try to find it out, try to see if you can find the solution, like, these are pretty standard, but eventually they do become uh, a bit more difficult. Like, uh, this is one where you have to uh, do the jumping one, or at least some part of jumping. Like, uh, there's a portal there, there's a drop there, so you drop down, shoot a portal, and then just fly over. Um, and just continues, it just continues that. Um, where am I? Okay. So um, it shows you, yeah, you have to uh, do it more and more and more often. If you if you ma miss the fall, which I just did, you can al always just jump through this again. Uh, you don't really have to Momentum. use the stairs. Um, and then it just shows um, that if you if you jump from if you jump from higher, um, you will uh, fly further as well. It's basically all about momentum, and you can build momentum. Like later on in the game, you are gonna have to build momentum in certain weird ways. Um, there are also custom-made maps. I think Sm Smith Chamber. Uh, if you want to Google that, it's one of the most famous ones. Uh, that's being speedrun and stuff like that. Or at least back in the days, uh, it has been like five or six years ago. Um, yeah, it's 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 about six years ago when this came out, so the game, so the hmm, that's that's not a great place for me to be. Okay. Uh, so we're basically looking to we're basically looking to get uh, this here. So now we'll be able to push that button. Uh, that button button will activate the elevator. We'll then wait. That that doesn't activate the elevator. That does. God damn it! Um, so we'll have to wait um, until it comes here again. Like, is my portal still up there? Yeah, right. Okay, it is. So we go through here. Uh, watch out for the ball. And then at one point in the game, uh, the portal will be at the right point so in this case it will be um, so now the, the elevator will be active and we'll have to wait until it uh, shoots it there I think I think we, we better do this just so we can see it more properly so we get the elevator uh, and then we then get the double portal one and then we have full control over where we shoot the portals and the, the game basically starts uh, from here on. So um, we just missed the elevator, we should have come back. Uh, maybe we can make the jump, but I don't, I, I don't think I want to try to do that. Uh, I could have tried, but... Uh, so what they're saying now is that this device is uh, worth a lot of money. Uh, that it's worth more than the entire income of your entire um, family or wherever you live. Um, where's the exit? Oh, there's the exit. Um, I'm not sure how I get there. Oh man! Get out of there! Uh, I had to press that button. I'm an idiot. Uh, so press that button, shoot a portal, 
get on the elevator again and get there. I need to think this out a bit more uh, before making moves uh, because the hell is these, these are gonna be really long videos. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna make these videos. I'll probably try to keep an eye on the time that I um, like. I, I try to make like 30 to 40 minute videos. Uh, for now, I think I'll go to chamber number 13 and then stop it there. And then from chamber number 13 till the end uh, will be well the 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 end of the chambers. Uh, like here it says, you have com companion cube and you have to use momentum. Uh, the numbers actually um, do mean stuff as well, so you shoot one portal and then one there. Uh, you can also shoot one when you jump down, most of the time that's actually better. Um, just like, you can jump down and when you're falling shoot it, which actually makes it easier. Uh, we did not get our companion cube though, so I guess we'll have to do this here. And then yeah, you can jump here, you can basically jump far enough if you crouch and then uh, we jump too far. Like that's that's an issue you sometimes have. Um, keep in mind you can also just do this now. Um, like that's That was an accident but hey it helped, right? Uh, so we get our companion cube, we need to bring it over to there, so we're just gonna do that pretty easily. Um, by shooting one there. Uh, you can't. Well, well, we can just drop down here, I guess. And then we have to get up there again. So let's not jump too far this time. And we did. So if you do miss, just try to um, not fly too far, I guess. This is a bit annoying, though, that I'm missing this so often. Like, how am I missing this so often? Uh, that's probably a better shot for me. Oh man. Um, I'm actually flying too far, I guess. That's that's better. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, chamber 13 is a actually very first um, level that you can consider to be a challenge. I'll I'll actually finish chamber 13 and then go on from there. Like stop at the end of chamber 13. This is number. This is 13, right? Uh, yeah, this is 13. Um, so for speed running, you had to do something like this. Um, you then shoot a portal right there. Uh, you can go through this. Um, I already messed up, by the way, because I actually need that. I actually need that cube um, with me. Like uh, you have the portal there, you can take the cube now, close the door and have it here. You um, need that elevator powered so you need to shoot there and there. So then that elevator powers, you then shoot here, there and there to get uh, on top of the elevator to get the cube. You then get the cube, you... Like people that speedrun these are so good at, at throwing a cube that I have no clue how they do it. They they literally can uh, throw a cube somewhere. So anyway, as I said, uh, that'll be the end of this video, and I'll see you for the next one.